Hello, Daniel. So who are you? My name is Daniel Homland. I am in developer relations with Intel. And uh, today I want to show to you the HTML5 Playground. Okay. It's, a, it's a new tool that, uh, that I've been working on at Intel. And, and you've just published this a few days ago. Yeah, last Friday for MWC. The beginning this is where of we are here. Yeah. So it's a tool that allows you to enter in your, your HTML5, JavaScript, and CSS. And then as you're typing, it's rendered in real time down here on the bottom. So we also, it's, it's for developers and they can test out their code so they can um, share code snippets with other developers. Right. So we got a couple of uh, starting examples here. We're gonna be adding to that library more and more. And then if you go over here to the, uh, to the download area, you can download your application or share it online. Uh, usually you get a permalink here, or you could share it over Facebook, Twitter, whatever social network you like. I see. So you share it, but it's it's going to be published back, so when the user clicks on the link, they'll come back in yeah. here and see it. They'll, they'll come back here and, and uh, their code will be in the editing pane and the viewing pane. Nice. So a very social sort of experience. Would you say that's the main way it's different from the existing tools like JS Fiddle? What, it, this is going to be primarily a social tool. Right. So it's a tool for sharing and learning and for just discovering other cool things that people have done in HTML5. And can you explain a little bit about how you've built it actually? Yeah, sure. So uh, it's built uh, using Backbone and, and jQuery uh, and CSS3 and And, the, and when, when the, the sharing and the saving, how does that take place? Sharing and saving takes place um, through uh, a group called Add This, and Add This supports uh, 300 or so social networks. So, any way you can share the permalink, get it right. to other people's hands so that they can view what you've done. You okay. can email it to your coworkers, or your teammates, or just put it up on Twitter. Okay, very neat. So as long as you've got a unique URL, then you can go off to a third-party service to handle all the, the sharing aspects of it. Yep. And uh, we're here with AppUp, as I am too, and uh, can you explain a little bit about that and how it's working with the store? Sure. So AppUp is an Intel application store for the Windows platform, and uh, it's very similar to a lot of other app stores that are out there. It's a 70-30 split, developer gets 70, and uh, we have a whole range of applications here that you can download and install on your Windows machine. Right. We also support Migo and Python upcoming. Okay, and what's the story for HTML5 developers? So HTML5 developers can take their HTML5 applications, and we ha we have another tool called Encapsulator, which I don't think is up at this moment. But basically, it's a tool that lets you upload a zip archive of your, your web application, and it get, it's turned into an MSI file that you can install or upload to the store and start telling. And the compatibility story? Compatibility story. Currently, it's using QT WebKit uh, 2.0, I believe. And in about three or four weeks, we're upgrading to Chromium Embedded. Okay, very cool. Thank you very much. Thank you much. Is there a URL where people can find out more about this, the playground, as well as AppUp? Yeah, just go to appdeveloper.intel.com. Okay, good stuff. Thank you. Thank you.